It's your man Kevin right here and welcome back to Resident Evil 4. <clears throat> Last time we have defeated Chief Mendez in his final stand to protect his little village which he failed so miserably at. And after which we have obtained his, eye, his little false eye which we need to open the gate. And while recording the series, you guys have noticed that I have been having to record, well, I didn't have to record, but every time I uploaded a video, it would go into two separate videos at once. And I noticed that every video that I've uploaded cut off into two separate videos. The first one being the longest one, 33 minutes and exactly 12 seconds every. So yeah, before the it does that thing where it cuts the video off into two minutes it reaches 33 minutes and 12 seconds exactly before it decides to cut the video into two so from now on guys just for a little while until I get this figured out that is the limit of <clears throat> the amount of time my videos will be or somewhere close to that like if, it, if I for some reason go over by a few seconds then I'm not just not even gonna bother uploading the other bit that got cut off because of only a few seconds that's just a waste yeah cuz there, there really is no point in having to, in uploading just a few seconds of footage for no reason especially when all I do in that footage is the outro and we got Hey, yo, 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 call yo jets. Jeez, it's Christ. Uh, there we go. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, where's the potatoes that I earned out of this? Now, supposedly, if you were to go up this hill and not and continue to look up the hills you were going Ganados will spawn behind you but neat little thing I found if you actually go up the hill looking backwards they won't spawn they will not spawn which is awesome which is a nice little thing I that I figured out which is awesome gives you a little time to get some distance before they actually come up behind you the second I turn around, yep, there they are. <laughs> nope, you can go away. Can you not? <laughs> How are you still walking up towards me, sir? Yeah, there we go. That's... That's more like it. Get, uh, get down on the ground. And stay on the ground and dissolve. Okay. Now, the, we are about to come up into a very important point in the game, game, guys. We are going to have to cross that bridge. And when we do, the merchant will be on their side. And he is, and it is very important that we talk to him. And you will see in a minute why in a minute. Oh. That's a lot of Ganados. That is a lot of Ganados. <laughs> oh no. Wait, did they seriously lose uh, lose track of where they were that easily? <laughs> Too slow for me. It <laughs> looks like you were a little too slow there, my friends. <laughs> mm. 
And here we are guys as I mentioned in the last video we are now here at the castle. We have reached a, a very important point in the game guys. This is a one of those points in the game where we have an opportunity to get all sorts of brand new weapons from the merchant himself. Oh, I will take your egg, sir, thank you, and we also got a chest back here, don't miss that guys, do not miss that, and we got another spinal, oh, and it's, and as you noticed earlier, we got a brand new little item called the blue something, I forgot exactly where it was called, I keep forgetting that it's start to open the inventory. I keep forgetting that. Yeah. The valve blue. It works just the same as the spinal, only it just has a slight bit more value. I think it oh I think it has more value by five hundred yeah, five hundred percent as it has more value. Oh, Okay, um, I guess I'll wait. I'll, I'm gonna wait. Hang on. Welcome. Got some rare As you can see, he has... His list has updated. Is we got the large chest. And we got a treasure map of the castle, which we will actually not grab just yet. What are you selling? As you can see... Actually, let's go ahead and show you the new stuff first. So we have the large case obviously, we have the treasure map for the castle, and we got a new handgun, the black tail, a 9mm handgun with superior handling. A broken butterfly, um, which is a very powerful 45 Magnum revolver, which we will actually not buy, and the riot shotgun. And a new rifle as well, the new semi-auto rifle and the mine thrower. A couple of these we are not going to buy. And we have the scope for the semi-auto rifle and the scope for the mine thrower. And of course we can upgrade the stuff as well. Now what we're, we're going to actually go ahead and sell a few things here. Now, what I'm... What I don't know yet is that I'm going to sell the red nine and buy the black tail or keep the red nine and then maybe just maybe buy the black tail at a later point uh, you know for sake of showing you guys I might yeah I'll I'll sell the black the red nine and buy the black tail just for, for the sake of showing you guys the new weapons and of course, we're gonna and of course we're gonna keep the TMP because for obvious reasons that that is the only like semi-auto type weapon that uses that special nine millimeter ammo that you get. Just for that reason, we're gonna be keeping it. And we got a lot of money from that, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and buy the black tail. We're going to organize this a tiny bit. Just trying to get this organized just a little bit. There we are. Okay, Black Tail's bot. Now for the Riot Shotgun. And, nope, not that. <laughs> the Rife, the semi auto rifle. <clears throat> These are new weapons that will be 
we will actually keep these weapons throughout the rest of the game. And of course, we can upgrade them real quick as well if we want to. Uh, we'll leave the black tail as it is for now. Is that all? And we'll leave. And of course, we can't upgrade the firing speed for 1.83 firing speed is all the rifle has. I guess. We'll leave everything the way it is for now. And now with our little more space, we can go ahead and grab this herb. And now let's go ahead and equip our brand new black tail. I am definitely going to enjoy, going to enjoy using these new weapons against our new upcoming enemies. And here we are folks, the first official area of the castle. Now in this area, you're actually going to want to use the, the snipe, the semi-auto rifle. It will give you a huge advantage. Ooh. And here we guys, our first look of new of our new enemies that we will be interact be coming across. The and oh there we go. And what is up with me right now? I am such a horrible shot. Oh, I can hear him. He's going to be coming around the corner. Yep. <laughs> oh, I love this thing so much. Uh, uh oh. That's not. Oh, oh no. Run, Ashley, run! Oh god, that is terrifying. That is very terrifying. Especially if you get hit by one of those things, dude, they will take your way, your health, like no business. Oh, check the can. Hmm, it looks like this is still work. This still works. There's gotta be a mechanism somewhere to pull this thing up. Yes. We have, we found a working can. That is actually pretty nice. Okay. Okay, this is not good. Now we can actually go ahead and take care of a couple right here. See, I'm trying to see if I can do this. I did not just do that. <laughs> oh uh, we're not gonna talk about that, guys. We're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> we're not gonna talk about. That. Oh my god, I'm such a douche for laughing. <laughs> oh my god. There we go, there we go. Now I finally got a decent shot on that. <laughs> Funny thing is, I, I, as soon as I saw it starting to bounce back, I'm like, oh, this is not going to go well. <laughs> I guess I'm laughing at that. <laughs> oh, 
Wait, can we? Nope, we can't. Okay, we can't take him. Okay, let's see how far they can reach. Oh, hi. Okay, that's another tower taken care of. Alright, and actually you should be safe in here, so... Ooh! Where are you come from? Hey, no, put it out. Die, you piece of crap! What do you think you are, putting your hands on my girl like that? Hooey! Okay, Ashley, get in here, stay in here. Okay, guys, so this... this Taking out this one is not going to be very easy because there is no catapult, there's no fire belt to take him out, so we actually may only have to shoot the guy. Perfect. Which we did flawlessly. Okay. So now we have a little operate up here. This is what we used to lift the cannon, and which we have to use to actually open that door. And this is the only way we can open that door. Any other way you can think of is a piece is a bit piece of crap. And fire the cannon. It would have been nice if they had a little animation of the little freaking cannonball actually going towards the door. That would have been nice. Eh, but what ifs? You get what you get. And we got a little treasure chest right back here with the golden bangle on it, guys. Don't make sure you forget. Don't forget that. And we actually gotta go back down real quick because there's actually something a little small spinal we can grab from those guys firing up on that well. Assuming it's still there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we can go back. Now we can go ahead and go through the door. And enter the ca and step into the castle for the first time. Oh, hello, merchant. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and talk to him. Where well, we'll actually upgrade a few of our things real quick, and that'll help us later on. And hopefully, we don't end up doing what we did to Ashley just a minute ago. Yeah, yeah, 5,000 pesetas just from two of those things, and 8,500 just from that. Whew, you can now ask for more, guys. We'll go ahead and upgrade firepower and capacity for the bike tail. We'll go ahead and upgrade that. And, yeah, we can, oh, we actually can't upgrade anything for our shotgun. Not nice at all. Oh. I completely forgot to mention this to you guys, a little trick for when you upgrade your weapons, say you're running dangerously low on ammo, you have enough pesetas obviously, and you find the merchants you can, and you can upgrade your capa your ammo capacity real quick, and, ooh, I'll explain in a minute. Where's your current location? We decided to lay low on a castle, but it looks like it was a bad move. Meaning? Well, it appears that this castle's also connected with the Los Illuminados. 
I must not get many visitors here, because they're giving me one hell of a welcome. Sounds bad. I have an idea, Leon. I need to go... What? Repeat, honey. Great. Just my luck. Well, this, well, isn't this just very lovely, folks? Now we can't even talk to freaking Han again. Ah, <sighs> that's just nice. It, uh, excuse me. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Okay, time to pull out the shotgun. Get behind me, Ashley. Ooh. Uh, incendiary grenade. Burn. Y'all can burn. Down, you sicko. You may be over 18, but that doesn't that's no excuse for that. Oh, I can play things. What is up with my shot? Really? You're just gonna pretend that I'm not gonna that I'm not about to shoot you? Hello, sir. Oh my God, Jesus Christ! How many more of these guys are you gonna are you gonna send, dude? Oh my God, are you done? Are you done? Yeah, as you can see, compared to the normal Ganados, these guys are slightly harder to kill. And I'm really trying to conserve as much ammo as possible when dealing with them. A red, oh, a red herb, and that's nice. We'll go ahead and put you together with that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Actually, stay up there. And oh my god, I forget that. It, I forget that this game does not do physics the way you expect them. Great ammo saving opportunity. <laughs> okay, now that we have that taken care of, now let's see if we can figure out how to, how to, how to get the frick out of here. Okay, now. So what do we got? We got a large room, a couple of crates we can open. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. It's in a grenade, spinal, always nice, nice to have. Now, we have a, we have a little wall here. Seems out of the ordinary, and we have a gold sword. We can, in which we will t actually take. Yes, thank you very much. Now, down here, I think. Nope, that's not, there we go. Now, down here, I believe I saw another sword down here. Yes, we have the Platinum Sword, which we'll take. Now I notice that this wall looks a little gold, as well as, looks a little, just as gold as the sword. We can actually place it back on the wall. 
yeah, this is one of those common sense, just one of those puzzles that's pure common sense. Obviously, gold wall for the gold sword, and which a wall over here, this wall over here is for the platinum sword. Yeah, just another one of those common sense puzzle guys. Not very hard to figure out. And here we go. Leon! Lewis! I've got something for you guys. What you got for me, boy? Oh, shit! I must have dropped it when I was running away from them. Dropped what? A drug that'll stop your convulsions. Look, I know you're carriers. You've been caught in a blood, right? Yeah. And you? Yes. Damn it! The eggs have hatched. We don't have much time. What are you talking about? I have to go back and get it. Let me come with you. No. You stay here with Leon. He's better with the ladies. I'm sure. Why are you... It makes me feel better. Let's just leave it at that. That was quite an interesting conversation, wouldn't you say, folks? So apparently, Luis knows of a drug that can actually get this parasite out of our body. But now... Being his little clumsy self, he has to go back and try to retrieve it. Which is not swell at all. And it looks like we have a few more Ganados to deal with. Come on. I know you all want to play with me. Oh, oh, no, no, no. You stay there. You stay inside. Thank you. Oh, no, no. That almost got me. Seriously, you guys are going to go out the other way. Die, thank you. Okay. Oh, oh crap. I'm about to reach 33 minutes, guys. Um, well, actually, I'm about... I'm at 28 minutes, so... In about... Four more minutes, I'm going to end the video. So, let's try to get through this as quickly as possible. Boom. Okay. Oh, who invited you? That's what I thought. Yes, guys, as you saw, now these guys are going to be wielding shields, which is going to make them a little harder to deal with, well, depending on the weapon you guys use. The rifle obviously will take care of them no problem, but the pistol and the TMP, not so much. Oh, hi. Again, I don't know who the heck invited you guys. And down for the count, and with one, boom. Yeah, now that's how you kill, people. That is how you kill. Not saying you should do it, but if you were ever to need to do it, that is how you do it. And now we have a key for the main gate. For which, yeah, guys, he, the, 
you had to have going had to go into that area first where the main gate is locked which you had to pick up that key for and holy crap I'm at 30 minutes <laughs> who's laughing I don't like that uh, can you show yourself please uh, hello hello Oh great, this is all, this is exactly what we need. A freaking midget. Dude's got some weird looking bodyguards there. Ugh. Well, this guy, that guy's just a lively ray of sunshine now, isn't he, guys? Yes, we have entered, it seems we have entered the castle of the man known as Ramon Salazar, the eighth castellate of the, of the, of the castle. A little history of Ramon Salazar, he was actually once, as you know, a normal human being. His, he obviously had a very, very rich family in which he lived inside this castle. At a later point in this game, we will actually find a note of his butler who, who was around when Sadler actually appointed Salazar to be part of his little cult. And you guys will be able to learn a little bit more of Salazar's history. And but with that, guys, I'm going to have to end the video before I'm about to reach 30 minutes and 12, 33 minutes and 12 seconds. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we will continue to go deeper and deeper into the castle and find out more secrets of this Salazar character that we now know of. And with that, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. And if this is the first video that you've seen by me, and if you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much, and goodbye.